हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस सोशल साइंस क्लास ऑफ हिस्ट्री चैप्टर टू टॉपिक फ्रॉम ट्रेड टू टेरिटरी इन द लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ सेटिंग अप ए न्यू एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड अंडर दिस टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द न्यू सिस्टम ऑफ जस्टिस वेयर टू कोर्ट्स वेयर एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन ईच डिस्ट्रिक्ट ए क्रिमिनल कोर्ट and civil court the criminal courts were under a kazi and a mufti under the supervision of the collectors while the law for the civil courts were interpreted by molvis and hindu pandits but this law did not go without challenges there was a major problem because the uh, brahmana pandits gave different interpretations of uh, local laws based on different schools of the dharma shastras as we know hinduism is not a single religion many religions uh, come under hinduism um, so there are many uh, different deities and gods are worshiped by people so the society was highly segmented therefore the religious books also were in large numbers so the dharm shastras were interpreted uh differently in different parts of the country so the brahmana pandits of north india interpreted the dharma shastras in their own way while the pandit of south india interpreted law according to their dharma shastras therefore the problem was that there was different interpretation of law for the same type of offense so there was no uniformity in the interpretation of laws so what did the british do to overcome this problem they thought of a plan to bring about uniformity in 1775 11 pandits were asked to compile a digest digest uh, of hindu laws and uh, digest means a summary of uh, materials that is law compiled together and by 1778 a code of muslim law was also compiled for the benefit or benefit of the european judges so now if any european collectors come to india he does not need uh, to learn so many uh, dharma shastras so under the regulating act of 1773 a new supreme court was established now what is a regulating act uh, we can say from time to time the british used to pass some laws in order to govern a country well so according to this regulating act a new supreme court was established in calcutta and a court of appeal or the sadar nizamat adalat was also set up at calcutta uh, what is a court of appeal it is a court of law that hears appeal against both civil and criminal judgment from the uh, crown courts in england and in india like high courts and different lower courts it is the final court of justice so this court was also set up in calcutta next the principal principal figure uh, in an indian district was the collector that means the collector was the head of a district his main job was to collect revenue and taxes and maintain law and order in its district it uh, does not mean 
that he personally sat in the counter and collected tax uh, or revenue. No. Actually, there were a number of officers who helped him in this work. Similarly, there were the judges, uh, police officers and darogas who helped him maintain law and order and deliver justice to the people. So after going through this, we can understand uh, the position of collector in a district. That his office, the, that is the collectorate, became a new center of power and patronage that uh, slowly replaced the previous holders of authority. The previous holders of authority were the Raja, Maharaja and rulers. So, after the arrival of the British, they set up a new system of gover governing, new system of justice. So, uh, in the next class, uh, we shall discuss on the changes that was brought about by Warren Hastings uh, in the sphere of army. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead.